Welcome to Bible Talk from the Green Room, Revelation in 31 Days. Today is day number 7 of 31. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to be in Revelation 3. We're going to be in verses 1 through 6. Today, the lesson kind of focuses on uh, the Church of Sardis. Well, it does focus on that. The Church of Dead Works. And you could title this one, The Autopsy of a Dead Church or Rekindling Your Spiritual Life. But when you look in, uh, in a little of the background here, it says Sardis was about 30 miles southeast of Thyatira. Centuries before Christ, it was politically and economically one of the most important cities in Asia. This is where the first corn, coins were ever minted in the world. But by the time of the end of the Roman Empire, it had declined dramatically there. Uh, the church in Sardis was also on a decline and living on its past glory, which is very common for many churches uh, who are in a dying state right now. Today, the small village of Sart, Turkey, uh, sits near the ruins of this once magnificent, magnificent city of Sardis. The Lord introduces himself here as an angel or pastor in the church of Sardis uh, at the beginning here. Remember when we looked at at our symbolism there, pastor meant angel, and it could also mean star. When we look at the reputation of this church, it once had a reputation of being alive, and but they were living on past victories, and this is so common in the church today, talking about the way things used to be, and they've kind of lost their fire, and they're trying to live off past things, and you know they look up one day, and there's just nobody left attending the church here. The death of the church, it talks about in verse 1, but they are dead, signs of a dead church, or that the Spirit departs, that the Holy Spirit is just not involved in this church. The feeling goes away, the strength of the church goes away. But there's hope, you know, hoping that the church would wake up and remember the old ways and repent and turn and go back, back to the ways of being Spirit-filled like they were before. Um, then it talks about when we get to verse 4, it goes over uh, they were victorious and their victories in life and the overcomers in the church. When you look at rekindling your spiritual life, there are four components of that. One is recognize. Uh, rekindle your spirit life, you must first recognize the need. We see that verses 1 and 2. Uh, then we've got to remember, when we see verse 3, part A, Jesus said to the church of Sardis, Remember then what you received and heard. There are two things to remember if you want to rekindle your spiritual flame. First, you must remember the salvation you received from Christ. You need to remember how you were saved. According to 2 Corinthians 5.21, what did God do for your sake so that you might be the righteous of God in Christ? That's something you can look up there. Number three, repent. Uh, to obey God's word and ever rekindling your spirit life, you must first repent. And that's in verse three, part C. And then refocus here. Refocus on the reward of rekindling your spirit life. And that's something that we can all apply in the church today. Remember, each of these letters going out talks about different kinds of churches, thus different kinds of Christians that apply today. And this may apply to your spirit life. It may apply to the church you're involved in, uh, but it gives a clear uh, plan here of how we can get past this and get back focused, get our spirit life uh, well again, and get our church back on track like God calls for it to be. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day number eight.